Time for our Farm Bureau Insurance Scouting Report with the General Manager, John Robinson. And John, as I look at Cleveland and I watch how they play offense and defense and how they run special teams, new coach Kevin Stefanski seems to have a plan in place much like what the Titans want to do on a week-to-week -week basis. Do you see the similarities? Yeah, there, I mean, I think there's some, some carryover there between, you know, when you start to look at, at both clubs. They're pretty multiple on defense. You know, they'll play a four-man line with three backers. They'll play a three-man line with, you know, their outside linebackers slash defensive ends in a two-point stance, much like we do with our guys. And offensively, you know, it's a big offensive line. They try to try to lean on you. A couple of really good running backs, a, a lot of tight ends involved in their packages, a lot of play action pass, a lot of bootlegs. So there's a lot of carryover or similarities, I would say, between our team and theirs. Now, you mentioned their running backs. They have two guys that are pretty dominant in Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt with 700 yards, over 700 yards rushing. How is it that they are able to generate their run game no matter who's back there? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it starts up front, obviously, with, with the line. Uh, it's, it's a big line. It's a tough physical line with a first-round pick on the left side and Conklin, obviously, over there on the right side. Try to move guys off the football, get downhill. They do a really good job of, of, of hitting cutback seams, both Chubb and Hunt do. They're similar built backs. Stature-wise, they're both compact with, with, you know, really thick, strong lower bodies that can take on that load, you know, on the inside uh, running game. Jarvis Landry, the veteran receiver, eight catches, 143 yards and a touchdown at Jacksonville on Sunday. How does this guy keep doing it, and why is Jarvis Landry such a matchup problem for opposing defenses? Well, he's such a smart football player, Mike. You know, they, they play him outside, they, they play him inside. There was a play that we watched as a, as a team, you know, earlier this season where they needed to clock the football, and, and Jarvis noticed something formationally that, that was awry, and He's yelling at one of his teammates to, to get on the ball so they didn't get a penalty and, and have a 10 second runoff. He's dependable. He's got really strong hands, good in traffic, and he's really good with the ball in his hands. So, you know, he's been a problem in this league for a long time. Baker Mayfield continues to make plays at quarterback. Why is he so effective in this offense? Well, I think they're doing a good job of utilizing his skill set. You know, he's got he's got a good arm, but they're moving him around. He's an athletic guy. They're letting him get out on the perimeter uh, on some of these boot passes and and getting these tight ends involved and, and crossers in the play action game. You know, really playing off the ability to run the football and things are opening up for him. John, have the Titans faced any team this year that posed the specific challenges? that the Cleveland Browns will this Sunday? Yeah, I mean, we've played some really good football teams, Mike, but, you know, th this is another one this week, as, you know, as evidence with their record. You know, they've, they've won eight ball games, so they've beaten a lot of good football teams as well. They've got a, you know, they got a potent offense, a potent running attack with playmakers at tight end and receiver. They're aggressive defensively, you know, with playmakers really at, at all levels of the defense. We'll have our work cut out for us, that's for sure.